Hey guys, it's Tamisha with Toolbox Divas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the wall space to create more tool storage. So yeah, I'll use my garage uh, as my workshop, and I also use it for storage, so I'm always trying to maximize space. So I started off by removing the old shelving that was there and marked off where all of the studs are located because I'm going to be hanging these cabinets uh, using some French cleats made from plywood. So I started off by cutting the French cleats and attaching them to the wall to make sure they were all level. And once I had all the sheets of the plywood cut to size, I started to construct the base of the tool cabinet. Now this is a shop build, so I'm using inexpensive plywood uh, to create this project. In addition, I'm using pocket holes to assemble the cabinet. These cabinets are pretty high so that I can maximize the height of the walls in my garage. With two and a half and three inch boards, I'm creating slots so that I can slide my drills and impact drivers in place. And I want to maximize this space so that I can store as many drills as possible. And I'm using these slots to gauge where the first shelf will be located. This will be the shelf where I'll be storing my chargers. And to tell the truth, I probably should be using clamps right here, but I was just trying to gauge where everything is and put it in place. But linear clamps would have made this process a lot easier. And for shop builds, I tend to use primarily screws so that if I need to in the future, I can take things apart. Um, but there were situations where the brand name nailer came in very handy. Like when creating the slots for the drills. I marked out the center of the two and a half inch board and attached the three inch board at the very center to create the dividers. The brad nailer made this process go a lot faster. And then I screwed each divider in place. To determine the height of the second shelf, I placed the tallest charger along with the batteries, the largest batteries, in the charger to gauge the clearance I would need between the two shelves. And I used uh, some scrap 2x4 as spacers on either side of the shelf. I wanted the remaining shelves to be uh, adjustable depending on the height of the tools that I was using. So I used the Craig shelf pin jig to create holes for adjustable shelves. Then using a one and a half inch paddle bit, which is very messy, <laughs> I drilled a hole through either ends of the, sh the cabinet so that I can run electrical cords through them. For the second cabinet, I got a little smarter. I used these corner can-do clamps. It greatly sped up the cabinet framing process. I closed up the back of the cabinets using these one eighth inch hardboard panels. And I just nailed them in place using a brad nailer. And before I added the doors, I went ahead and attached the other side of the French cleats that I made using the plywood. So to create the French cleat, I took a piece of plywood that was six inches wide and cut it down to the length that was the same as the width of the cabinet and cut it in half at a 45 degree angle. I placed one part half of the board on the wall and the other half on the actual back of the cabinet. Given that many of the tools can be kind of heavy, I used two boards for the French cleats. I used one at the top and then one at the bottom. And needless to say, I was pretty happy seeing all this come into place. Next up was constructing the actual doors. The door depth was almost four inches, uh, three and three fourths to be exact. The shelves that I removed was where I stored many of my spray cans. So I wanted a place where I could store some spray cans as well as a few bottles of stain. And again, that can-do clamp, well it's just like the name says, it made the framing of the doors go extremely fast. And just like with the base of the cabinet, I secured the door using just screws because with a shop build I like the flexibility of being able to make changes later on. The door height is 28 and a half inches which gave me room for two 10 inch uh, high shelves. That's enough space to store two rows of full-size spray cans. 
I inserted a 3 8 inch wooden dowel about two inches above each shelf so that it would keep the spray cans in place as I opened and closed the doors. Then I cut the hinges to the height of the door. I made sure to clip the edges of the top and the bottom part of the hinges. I installed the hinges to the door by pre-drilling the holes for the hinges before screwing the hinge in place. I also used a longer screw for the hinges. Then I attached the door to the actual base of the cabinet while it was already hung. And then I inserted a couple more shelves to the height of the tools and painted it. And one last thing was I installed some rear earth magnets to the interior of the door so that when I closed the door that it would remain shut. This was a really great project for me largely because I needed the additional storage. And I needed a place where I could store all of my charges for the various tools that I had in my workshop. And the best part about this, it didn't take up any additional floor space, which is key in a small workshop. So I hope you like this video. The link to the plans and further details regarding this wall cabinet can be found below in the description. And don't be shy, follow us at Toolbox Thieves on Facebook and Instagram. Alright y'all, till next time.